In this tutorial we're going to show you how to install and configure MailPoet. MailPoet is a great plugin that can be used to send emails to your list of subscribers directly from WordPress. So to get started we jump into the dashboard, go to plugins and add new. And naturally we just search for MailPoet. And here you can find it under MailPoet newsletters formerly with Sigil. So just install that, wait for WordPress to download and extract. And then when it tells you to, click on activate plugin. With MailPoet installed, you'll notice that you have this new menu item over on the left hand side. In this instance, it's called Wissijar because that's the name the plugin used to be before they changed that. So let's open that up and we'll take a look straight away. Actually, we'll go into settings first. There's a few things that you need to set up in here, particularly before you start sending emails. And the first is the company's address. Spam filters check for a company address on any newsletters that are sent out, so it's pretty important that you put one in there. So we'll just say uh, one, two, three, example street. You can put whatever you like though, naturally the name is the best. Then you've got email notifications. So if someone subscribes or unsubscribes or you want a daily summary of the email sent, you can just check these boxes, make sure your email address is in there and it'll handle the rest for you. Now we can choose who we want to send these from as well. So what I'm going to do now is to say, putting WPKB for the demonstration and we'll put in contact at wpkb.com and next we can allow people to subscribe in comments so whenever they're putting a comment on your website they can subscribe to that there you can add it there and then just choose what list you want them to go on to we're just going to choose my first list that's the one that comes with this plugin out of the box and you can also allow people to subscribe in the registration form so if anyone's registering on your website, then they can sign up straight away using that. And again, we're just going to choose that list there. Then you've got a link to browser version option. So every time a HTML email gets sent by a list, typically it will have a way for the user to be able to view that on the internet if it doesn't display correctly in the browser. So you can change it if you like, or you can just leave it as it is. Usually, you know, what's there is the default, it's just fine though. Then you can change the text of the unsubscribe link, though leaving it as unsubscribe is the, is the norm. It's uh, very common, so I suggest leaving it as that. And then you've just got the ability to change the particulars of the unsubscribe page. So once they've actually been successfully unsubscribed, this is what they'll see. So they'll see you've unsubscribed and great, you'll never hear from us again. And when you finish making these changes, all you need to do is click save settings. Really all you need to do when getting MailPoet installed and configuring the basics. If you have any questions about this, please feel free to ask in the comments below. 